Uh, Ellen and myself own the uh, Ennis Falls, Cedar Falls. We're going through today and showing you our new expansion of the gathering place and fireside room. Um, we did this with a lot of green products. Uh, we started out by building everything with 2x6 and 2x8 walls. We're using uh, recycled shredded newspaper for insulation in the walls and ceiling. As our floor here is recycled oak pallet. It's made by the Shaw Manufacturing. And we are standing in the, uh, the fireside lounge. Uh, this is where our guests come. Uh, we have uh, internet uh, access in here. We're all wireless in this building. Um, we can do group meetings up to 50 people. We have 35 uh, laptops going at one time without losing any speed. Uh, as we go back into the gathering place. Okay, so we're inside the uh, meeting facility right now. We do have a big flat screen TV that uh, is hooked up for PowerPoint presentation uh, and other events. Um, as you can look up top, all these this is all local white pine as well. It was milled down in MacArthur from the same company. Uh, our heating and cooling system here is all electric. Um, it is the newest of the uh, heat pump systems. There's actually uh, two compressors in these heat pumps, and it's uh, hooked to a computer so it can analyze the temperature outside at 3 o'clock in the morning if we have a group coming in, and it'll start slowly heating up the building one, one degree per hour in the wintertime. So it keeps our electric costs way down and energy use way down. As as well, as you can see the stone on the, on the back wall there, is this building starts to go underground. And when we get back here by our bathrooms, we'll be seven and a half feet under. We've, we've installed some more windows up there to bring more natural daylight into the building, uh, which then also cuts down on our lighting costs. All of our lights in here are fluorescent. They are a, a five-year bulb uh, that we also then recycle. Uh, at the end of their life. Um, the heating and cooling system on our fresh makeup air system, uh, we have to exhaust so much air out, bring so much fresh air back in when we have groups in here. So we have a heat exchanger system. So when the cold air comes in, it is mixed with the air going out in different chambers. So the air that's introduced back into the system will then at least be 50% warmer than what the air is, is outside. This also saves us quite a bit on the uh, this is uh, also white pine that was milled uh, locally off a uh, little bandsaw sawmill. Uh, this, these trees were taken down during um, uh, the ice storm uh, so that we were able to salvage that as well. Uh, so we really have nothing that goes to waste around here. The vinyl down here on the floor that actually we're standing on and, and it's also in the uh, bathroom. This is made of 40% recycled plastic. So as you can kind of see back in here, we are kind of underground now. These commodes here that we uh, um, we have gotten from, uh, they're manufactured in Australia. They have two buttons on them, a half flush and a full flush. Uh, and with a half flush, it uses right around a half a gallon of water per flush. So we are also collecting all of our rainwater. We have uh, a 2,000 gallon tank out front that all of our downspouts are hooked into. So that is in reclaimed and Back in. Again, part of our recycling here is we save all of our old wine bottles and we make uh, beer glasses out of them. Uh, you can kind of see their different sizes and shapes and colors. Uh, we actually even have a little shorter series for highball glasses. So this is also, then we also then take the tops and recycle, put that back in our glass recycling bins. But, uh, so we don't really throw much away here. Okay, we're entering out on our wraparound porch here. As you can see, all of our uh, Posts out here are 8 by 8 posts or white pine. They're locally grown and milled right here in southern Ohio. It's along with our siding. This is all white white pine siding as well. We have stained that with a uh, uh, environmentally friendly stain. Um, it's all water-based stain, so it's uh, easy on the environment. And we come back around through here. These are chairs that we have built uh, out of uh, material left over from the job uh, that was headed towards the landfill, so we just cut and spliced and did those as well, as well as our benches. Uh, material left over from the job. We used old horse watering troughs for our uh, planters out here. Uh, we're in the 
standing in front of the gathering place. We have used uh, 1,800 uh, logs that I've torn down from Enterprise, Ohio, and moved them over here. Um, so that's also uh, part of our recycling uh, program here. Uh, as you can we walk on around here, um, this building is handicap accessible. We have handicap parking here. We do have stairs going up the outside, which will go up. It goes to our herb garden room. Um, we'll have herbs for the uh, chef here at our restaurant. Uh, using the restaurant and also we will have cutting flowers next year for our table arrangements. We are standing up on the rooftop right now. This is a project that's not completely finished. It will be next spring. We will have our flower boxes up here and herb boxes, benches. Uh, we can also do little cocktail parties up here. Um, and with this roof system here, if you look down in, we have um, a fiber paper down and then four inches of a blue uh, uh, styrofoam board which then keeps all the heat off the roof as well and so we have about an R48 up here on this roof so there's really no heat transfer up here uh, going down into our uh, building so this saves us a lot of money for heating and cooling.